question in, in, in how, you know, how do you turn the leader's mindset towards servant leadership? And, and I think what, what's being asked here is how do you, how do you get people to accept change when you want to change things in your organization, especially at the leadership level? And what I've learned over the years is everyone is an individual and everyone has their own starting point. And the best thing I can do is to learn about the individual, learn about where they are uh, in their own beliefs of leadership, where they are in where they, you know, compared to where they want to go, where they are today, uh, and build upon that individual life from where they are. Not starting from, you need to be here and you're down here. Um, and if you approach that with an added value mindset, so your mindset as the teacher mentor to help get them to look at this type of leadership, you have to be a mentor, a little bit of a coach, but you have to believe in it yourself. And if you don't believe in it, that's going to show through. So start with your own self. A lot of times the belief comes through in how we talk, how we behave. Um, we like to talk about, you know, behavior talk. Uh, not just walk your talk. And so it's about little behavioral steps. Now, how do you get people to take that step? Um, you've got to find out who they are and, and what little step they can take to move forward to say, hey, I can, I can do this. Or maybe this is a better way of doing things. Or uh, maybe my boss really cares about me and wants to help me grow uh, into this different type of leadership. You're asking an individual to change. And, you know, you use the word attention slash mind. And you're talking with human beings who have feelings, who have minds. And each one you need to approach differently. And the best example I can have is there's some of us that are that were trained in college to think with our, our brains. And, you know, those are the people who are, are task driven. They think through problems, they come through um, and, and get solutions through thinking. There's a creative individuals who, you know, create from their heart, create from their soul, have all this artistic side of, of their beings. You're going to treat each one of those differently to get them to look at a different leadership style. And that means you've got to be adaptive on your own. Um, start with a little step. Um, maybe it's rewarding them for having a job done on time. Or maybe you uh, give them some encouraging words for doing uh, a task differently. Thinking outside the box is the, is the buzzword in, in leadership. Um, but start with something small. Now, the result side that you talk about, what I found is when people launch into servant leadership and they believe in it and they want to change, the results they're going to see it's not going to be from their work environment. It's going to be from the people that know them the best. And that's the people they love, their families, their friends. They're going to see a change in behavior. And so the results are going to come to them through their personal life first, then from their work life. Um, and that's an inter interesting transformation because a lot of people want to keep that fence up between personal and business. And what we say at at SLI is there's a work-life integration that needs to take place, not a work-life balance. Uh, they're actually intertwined. And um, so the results they're going to get excited about the most is somebody's going to say, and then family or friends said, hey, I, you're, you look different or you're doing something different or there's something different about you. Um, and that's when they're going to go, wow, okay. I can, I can do this, I can change, I can get better. And people around me are noticing that I'm changing and getting better, all right? A lot of people like to comment when people get worse, right? And, and, and that's easy, but when people see a positive change, that kind of feedback really does feed the heart of the individual going through the change and drives them to change even more. They'll get some success at work, and that will follow, but they're going to see it more in their personal life before they see it in the work life. And, um, you know, that's difficult to measure. And 
but I will tell you, I get more joy out of seeing that change in people in their personal lives than when they change in their work life. So think about that a little bit. And um, you may have some more follow on questions on that. We'd love to get them uh, because this is a very interesting area uh, when you're asking people to look at things differently, accept change and start with their own behavior first. But great question. And as you can tell, I can probably talk about this for the next half hour. So uh, thanks for the question.